when you go to watch Big Brother Niger, you think you are going to rest and relax. <laughs> you don't know that's a channel. Spirits move on vibration. Every spirit moves on vibration. So they either travel through light or sound. That's why the gate of the soul is the eye, the ear, and the skin. If you see in 3 John chapter 1 verse 3, 1 first, first John chapter 3 verse 1 to 4, it said, Behold, what manner of law has the Father bestowed on us that we should be called the sons of God? It said, For we shall, when we shall see him, we shall be like him in verse 2. When we shall see him, the moment you see, you have interacted with light. So the essence of that spirit migrates into your soul. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. The moment you hear, the spirit migrates into your soul. Because spirits travel on vibration. And because the demon knows, he now gathers his agents that have money, who are apostles in the world. And they gather money and they put a program together that access your eyes and your ear. And you sit there from morning to evening downloading demonic spirits. And you say you are having fun. Whereas you are downloading demonic spirits. So 500 young ladies that watch the big brother Niger go to sleep with 500 other men. They don't know it's a recruitment camp for agents of darkness. Yeah, na 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 na. Yeah, na na na. We need to understand spiritual intelligence. A demon doesn't need to appear to you for you to be demonized. You can be demonized from your television set if you don't know what to watch. You can be demonized from the internet if you don't know what to watch because spirits travel on vibrations, sound wave and light wave. The lady doesn't know she has become an agent. She goes and snaps herself almost naked and puts it on Facebook and says it's her birthday. She doesn't know that is ministry. That's why men must be taught so that you know it's beyond talking. Even your dress code is ministry. This is not legalism. This is teaching the ways of God because there's such a thing called the appearance of a harlot. And the moment you appear like that, the Holy Ghost will prick your heart if your conscience is still alive. Ministry is deeper than words. It's a wisdom of spirits that brings men under manipulation to a degree that they can communicate those spirits. Because every spirit wants to migrate from the invincible realm to the visible realm. The young man comes online and he unbuttons his shirt and show all the hair on his chest and he say he's advising people. <laughs> he doesn't know the act is louder than the voice. That's why Paul said the believers must be equipped for the work of the ministry. Some of us need to change our wardrobe. Because everything there is an attire of the harlot. Most of them don't know why they go on campuses and in two months they are disflowered. They enter an energy level. They enter another energy level. So their soul can't manage. It bombards them from every side. And all of a sudden they start feeling lonely. They start looking for... Nobody is at, at approaching them. Why is nobody? Am I not beautiful? You came to read physics. What does physics have to do with beauty? Must be equipped. So I came to show us four qualifications of a minister. Some of us have preached better than many apostles. We don't know. You put one naked picture online. He has 50,000 likes. You don't know you are, a, you are a terrific preacher. You have preached more than 
some apostles that have been in ministry for 10 years <laughs> because we are not taught ministry he makes one video she claims she's dancing and she has like 10 of those videos and all of them have 1,000 shares 100,000 views and she, she, she comes to church and is saying God use me you are, you are being used terrifically but by a demon and if God doesn't really empower you even if you become a prophet you may not win more souls than you have won in darkness how many evangelists in Africa is as profound as Davido do you know anyone it's called ministry giving expression to demons and most of us in church that's our favorite evangelist do you think the devil is foolish they give them promos give them adverts give them sponsorship you think they are foolish these are apostles of darkness and we we are so dwarfed God is raising one person and every other person is jealous the brother is singing in the choir and God is ministering to people everybody wants to sing meanwhile darkness exhort their own but we kill our own it is only in the army of God that wounded soldiers are killed when Kanye West switched over do you know how many offers they gave him to come back but in Africa the pastor falls and then all the Christians online rubbish him he will never rise again because we murder our wounded soldiers because we don't know ministry I thought it was all about temptation until a beast appeared to me and told me you must end on the lap of a woman that was when I knew that this thing is not temptation it's warfare so when next you see a soldier fall pray for him that's your only assignment wise men don't even watch it see how this pastor raped this person wise men don't watch it because the more you click it the more you make it powerful and most of them are propagandas gullible Christians they talk against men of God and 90% of those talking are believers because they are not taught ministry they don't know that kingdoms are at war they don't know that thrones are fighting. Men must be taught. So we know what happens in the spiritual. When Daniel rose for the emancipation of Israel from Babylon, angels began to fight in the heavens. Michael and Gabriel were deployed to fight the prince of Persia. Everything happening on ground is manipulated in the heavenlies.